Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Emily, this is the Embreezy channel. And today I'm gonna be doing an empties video. It has random things in it, like there's even food um, and things like that. Um, but yeah, I don't know what's in here, but I decided to save it for whatever reason. Maybe I really enjoyed the product. Okay, I got my water. I'm always drinking water. Okay, so first thing I see here is the RSP Amino Lean pre-workout. Um, I don't like the taste of this. It's in the pink lemonade flavor. I am not a big fan of the way the pre-workouts that I've had taste. I just, it's something about it that I don't like. This is no exception. I don't like the flavor of this. Um, I like this because it gives me like the tingles before I work out. Um, it's a good pre-workout. I got it from Walmart. It's one of their less expensive ones. I think it was like $12 or something like that. Um, would I repurchase? Possibly, uh, even though I don't like the taste of it, I like the way it makes me feel. Zebra cakes, I was, it was like that time of the month and I really wanted something sweet. I kind of regret getting these in a way because like I felt kind of crappy after I ate them. I don't eat a lot of processed food, but I, I love a lot of processed food. I love um, Little Debbie snacks. I like, um, oh, and I like Twinkies. I like Twinkies. I love, oh my God. I love Twinkies, like I have an obsession with Twinkies. I don't eat them very often, but when I do, I eat like three at a time. Um, and zebra cakes are no exception. I love zebra cakes. They're so good, they're so good. And yeah, I really enjoy them and I like little snacks like these. Love them, don't eat them a lot. This coffee is so good, y'all. This is a Starbucks Pike's Place coffee. This is like the original one. Um, I forgot where, um, cause I worked at Starbucks before and I forgot where it was based in. Um, I wanna say Manhattan, but I don't know if that's true. Um, but anyways, Pike's Place is their like original flavor formula and I love this because it actually gives me energy. This is the only coffee that I've tried that actually gives me energy. I've tried so many different coffees. I enjoy coffee. I like the taste of it. Um, but this is the only one that actually like gave me energy because a lot of them just make me go to sleep And I don't know why I just get really tired after drinking a bunch of different kinds of coffee But this one actually like got me energized So if you're looking for a good coffee and you're looking for energy Pike's Place coffee is really good. You can get this from Walmart Coffee creamer or a lot of food stuff off the top um, Coffee creamer. This is a zero sugar international international delight coffee creamer. I love international delight brand coffee creamer Again, this is sugar-free. This is the pumpkin pie spice. I enjoyed this. I'm not like crazy about pumpkin spice, but I do partake in the trend of pumpkin spice during the fall time Whatever I this year I have not gotten a PSL PSL drink from Starbucks just yet. I don't know if I'm going to because I just like making my own coffee. I don't want to spend $9 on a damn cup of coffee. Like I will make it at home and enjoy it. And this was good enough for me. So love that. I do like Starbucks pumpkin spice though. I do love it and will treat myself sometimes to Starbucks, but I prefer to make my own coffee because it's just like, I don't like eating out a lot. I don't like eating out. I don't like um, like spending money eating out when I'm hungry. Like I would rather cook something at home or make something at home, including coffee. Cause I can, I, there's like a lot of coffee. Like I make a big pot so I can like drink a lot of it. And plus, okay, I know I'm dragging this on, but um, when I go to Starbucks and I buy my drink, it literally takes me like two seconds, like maybe like two minutes to drink the whole thing. And I don't like that. It doesn't last. I eat fast, I drink fast. Yes. And this is the Colab Dry Shampoo Original One Oil Absorption Without White. This does not have a lot of white residue unless you like overdo it. Um, but this is one of the best um, dry shampoos that I've used from the drugstore. I've tried several different kinds of um, drugstore um, dry shampoos. I've even used some high-end ones and this one's pretty good. So I, it, it is possible that I would repurchase this because I don't want to spend $30 on a dry shampoo at Sephora. So. I don't even like using dry shampoo. I just want to wash my hair. Like I don't like the feeling of dirty hair. Like it drives me freaking nuts. So I would rather just wash my hair, but some people think that's overwashing, but whatever. Um, Vagisil, this is the only Vagisil, this is a feminine wash. Um, this is the only one I get. I, I smell the other ones and I have been using this religiously for a really long time now. It's the peach, peach blossom one. And this is the only one I buy, the peach one. So love it. 
Um, this is melatonin. I, uh, my, my doctor, a oh, doctor, I went to the doctor yesterday and um, he told me to stop taking melatonin every day, but I, I take it a lot. Um, I kind of depend on it a little bit. I know my mom doesn't like that either. Um, she was like, she worries about me, but um, this is the HGB melatonin 10 milligrams gummies. And I like these. I like them. I like gummies. Um, yeah, good melatonin. It worked. Um, Alani Kimade. This is the Kim Kardashian um, Alani. I love Alani energy drinks. It's the only one that I really enjoy. I love the taste of it. I drink it really fast, but it provides some energy for me. Not as much as the nootropics and things that I um, am affiliated with. But every once in a while, I will grab an Alani because they're so cute and like, what the hell? I love cute packaging. This is adorable uh, and this tastes really good. So yeah, that's a good one. I would repurchase. This is the Myers Multi-Surface Everyday Cleaner. I clean my apartment like a lot, like almost every day because I don't typically clean up after myself i usually like let things accumulate and then do a whole like bulldoze clean of my apartment if that makes sense um that's just how i am um but this is the myers lavender one this smells like such a good lap this is like the best smelling lavender lavender there's so many different like kinds of lavender scents and this is the one that's kind of sweet it's a little sweet and um just like sweet lavender and i really like the smell of it but it's almost so nostalgic to me. I used to smell this smell like when I was a child and I don't know where from. I think it was like a body wash or something that it smells just like this. And I love that smell, but it's it's kind of weird. It's like almost so nostalgic that I don't like it. Um, but this one is really good. You can clean glass with it, really good stuff. Probably wouldn't repurchase because I just don't like that nostalgic of a smell. This is the Niacinamide with Black Bean Essence Mask Sheet by Esfolio. It's a Korean brand um, face mask. I like it. I don't know. I like it. I don't know if I see results. Um, maybe I don't pay attention, but yeah. Because I use so much different skincare. I don't know what's like what's working. Spoiled Child um, Hair Growth Serum. This has rosemary in it. I want to get some rosemary oil and use that strictly on my scalp to grow my hair thicker and longer. Um, I didn't notice a lot of results with this um, because I didn't. I only use one bottle. I think you have to use like three bottles to see a difference. But I do like how it has rosemary in it. Um, this was over like really expensive, overpriced. The packaging is lovely. It's like this capsule. It's very heavy and like really nice. But is this glass. It's glass too, so it's really quite lovely. But. Um, I just don't want to spend like $40 on a hair serum when I could just use something from the drugstore that offers the same results for a fraction of the price. I don't want to spend a lot of money on certain things that just, it's not justified. It doesn't need to be that expensive. So not going to purchase that again. Also, it's like an online thing. So I have to order online. I'm not too like a big fan of that. A uh, Walmart brand, the Equate brand, it's a Walmart brand. Um, this is the medicated apricot cleanser. I love face scrubs. I don't give a damn what people say about face scrubs, like ripping up your face. It does not rip up my face. It makes it glowy. Um, it gets all the dead skin off and the buildup and the makeup residue. I love face scrub. I'm an avid user of face scrub. I don't care what anyone says. I hear a lot of flack about it, but I really don't care because it works for me, so I don't give a damn. This is an acne medicated ab apricot scrub. I've yet to... I, I'm using a certain face scrub right now that I love very much that I'll probably put in my next favorites video. Um, but I really like the texture of this. It's very abrasive, very scrubby. I love the apricot granules in it. Um, I would repurchase this. This is really cheap. This is only like $2.99 at Walmart. Great stuff. Love it. Highly recommend. Love it. This is a body lotion that I actually repurchased. I don't use every day because I don't like using lotion every day. I would rather use a body oil. I'm a body oil type of girl. Um, but I have repurchased this, which is crazy because I don't like, I don't like body lotion. I don't like slathering body lotion on my skin. It makes me it feel icky. I don't know. But I really do like this one. This is a Nivea cocoa butter one. It's a cocoa butter deep nourishing serum with cocoa butter and vitamin E. Love it. I really like the way it smells. I can't open it this way really. Oh, okay. I, I like it. I really like it. I've repurchased it and I will repurchase again when I'm done with my other bottle. I use this every once in a while. It is very nourishing and I love cocoa butter. So love it. You can get that at Walmart. Um, Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. I love this micellar water. I don't 
use it to like take off all my makeup and things like that. Um, but I use it if I make like a, like a mistake with my makeup and I need to take it off real quick, I will use this. Love it, really good stuff, really cheap. Buy at Walmart, I wouldn't purchase. More melatonin, more melatonin, melatonin, I love melatonin. Summer Z Feminine Wash, this is another feminine wash that I like. This is in the Delicate Blossom scent. Love this when I wanna break from this. So I've gotta keep it fresh, um, love it. Calgon Lavender and Honey bubble bath. I wanted a bubble bath. I take baths every once in a while and I did not like this one. I will not repurchase. This is a lavender and honey scent and it just doesn't smell good to me. And, um, it, I went through this bottle really fast and it just didn't impress me. So I'm not going to purchase. Um, this is really good. The Garnier Micellar Foam and Gel Cleanser. I don't know where to find this. Like this is such a good cleanser. Um, I do like my Cetaphil one more, which is the, um, the hydrating cream foaming cleanser very specifically that one it's relatively new i love it it takes off all my makeup this one takes off all my makeup but i do like the set of full one more so it's okay that i can't find this everywhere even though it's really good i highly recommend if you're looking for something to remove all your makeup um really good stuff removes all the makeup um would i repurchase just because i love my set of full one i have an empty thing of lashes i'm pretty sure this is the kiss lashes in the so wispy lashes in the style 01 it's my favorite favorite lashes that i repurchased like i repurchased this like oh my god like i'm gonna go over exaggerating but like 50 times like this is so good it's just number one i love the number one love it would repurchase have repurchase have some new packs grin smooth um floss picks i have to have floss picks i i am one of those people that floss their teeth every day i do not like string floss i do not like it this has really motivated me to floss every day because it's like a pick it's so much easier it's so fast i always always have to floss my teeth i don't feel right when i don't floss my teeth i think that's yeah but um yeah these are so good and i love how they stay intact they don't break they're not cheap they're really effective they also have like a toothpick end where you bend it and you can use it throughout the day if you eat you know you eat out and you just put, pop these in your purse and use them every day love them i go through those all the time billy razors i really like this razor i want to i have the malibu razor which is a pink one i want to get the glittery one i saw it at target um but i really like billy razors so yeah i can recommend that and i repurchased that several times super good play um sunscreen spf 50 love this love this um got it from sephora um i think this size is only 22 dollars or something like that um but it's like relatively inexpensive for like a sephora um brand um but yeah it's really good very moisturizing if you have dry skin i highly recommend you can also use this under your makeup and you will be good to go it's like a hydrating primer love this i don't recommend for oily skin though because this is very um like moisturizing not moisturizing but like oil it has oils in it like um uh it has a bunch of different oils in it so i don't recommend if you have really oily skin you probably won't like the way it feels um and it's free clarifying cleansing foam um, facial cleansing foam. Um, this is really good. It's from the brand Innisfree, which is a Korean brand. They do, we do have this at our store, um, at Sephora. I really like this. I don't like the way it feels when I get, like, um, when I'm cleansing my face and I get it in my eye, it hurts. My Cetaphil one does not hurt my eyes or burn my eyes. Even if you get this, like, near your eyes, it'll start burning. So, like, I love this for, um, acne clearing, but I don't like it burning my eyes. But, um, I would repurchase. Smells really good, smells very minty. Um, love it, love mint. I love the smell of mint, I love mint. Uh, Mika Hydro Rush, I'm not the biggest Amika fan, but I really like this for detangling my hair. I don't know if I would repurchase, um, probably, but I just don't, like it's not completely necessary, but I really like the handle. Um, ooh, I like the way it smells, it smells really good. Um, yeah, I like this and it's cute, I like it. Um, Urban Decay All Night Spray, this is the best freaking makeup setting spray I've ever used. I have repurchased this so many times. I used it when it's, it was in its old packaging with the nightscape on it with the moon. Um, I used this like years, like, like over 13 years ago. I've been using this. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's so good. Would always repurchase. It's the best. Sun Babe, um, hair lightening um, spray. I love this. It's activated by heat. This stuff really works. Um, and I don't like the idea of bleaching my hair, 
So I use this to lighten my hair in the summertime and really good stuff. It's in a new packaging, way better packaging than this. This is really like tacky, but their new packaging is like in a metal gold bottle. Love it. I just used it. I just got out of the shower and used it in my hair because I'm lightening my hair gradually. So love this. Secret um, cocoa butter, clear gel deodorant. I love clear gel deodorant. I don't use the white deodorant, it's, I don't like that kind of deodorant. It's really gross. Like when I see someone raise their arm and you see like white deodorant, I I can't stand that. Like that will drive me nuts. A lot, not a lot of things about other people, not a lot of things about other people drive me nuts, like superficial things like that. But I think I, I can't, I can't, I can't do it. Um, so clear gel, this is the secret um, cocoa butter one. I love this. Oh my God, it smells so good. Like I have repurchased this, will repurchase, love it. This is my favorite facial cleanser in the whole world besides my Cetaphil one. Um, this is a fresh soy face cleanser I got in the jumbo size. I've had several bottles of this. This has amino acids. I love a cleanser with amino acids. This makes your skin very clear, very polished, very pretty. Um, love this, so good for all skin types. Um, it's a little pricey, but um, it's worth the money. It's so good. More Pike's Place coffee. You can see that I like this. Right now I'm working on a French roast one. I really prefer Pike's Place. I love this. Black, it tastes good black. You don't have to add cream or anything to it to like have a tolerable flavor. I really love this. Well, if you like coffee, I, I like the taste of coffee. So um, this is like the best tasting coffee. Black, love it, gives me energy. I love Pike's Place. My favorite foundation of all time so far, I'm wearing it right now and I have a couple, like several bottles of this. Um, this is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation. It gives you a matte finish, but it's not like flat matte, um, especially if you use something moisturizing and emollient underneath, um, like a primer or a SPF. Um, but this is a soft matte, natural looking, I think it looks natural to me. Um, I freaking love this. When people return this at, my, at the store, I don't understand why. Um, I have dry skin and this works for me. It's not like drying. I love this, and if you're wondering my shades, um, my pale, sh my pale, my fair shade is Punjab, and my tan shade is Vio Vanatu, which I'm wearing today, and I freaking love you guys. This is so good. I love it. I love it. Rare Beauty mascara. I have tons of these, like tons of these laying around. Rare Beauty mascara is really good. I do recommend. I would repurchase. Don't need to because we're getting gratis very often. A drugstore mascara that is amazing. Probably one of my favorites is the Maybelline Sky High mascara. This is a tubing mascara. This is the brush and it's so good. It's very lengthening and you can use it for volume as well. Uh, you can get this out at Walmart. I highly recommend tubing mascara because it doesn't, my foot to sleep. Uh, uh, uh. REM Beauty, if you don't know REM, it's Ariana Grande's makeup line at Ulta, the lash, and brow serum this is good it works i have not purchased this in a long time and i haven't been using it for a long time but it does work um i do recommend this it's pretty good stuff oh my god my feet have the sparklies like the painful sparklies the nyx ultra matte eyeshadow primer we're gonna fight through this y'all um, it looks like this. This burns my eyes now, I think because it got old, but when it when I was using it, it worked good. Um, I probably wouldn't repurchase because it burns my eyes now. I don't know why it gets like that, but I don't like that. Um, something that I have repurchased, will always repurchase, is a Milani Waterproof Stay Put Eyeliner in the little ink well. I don't like how this like frays, right? But I do like it to, I use a liner pen to put like a little wing and then I fill this in. It's very black, um, very inky, love it stays on stays put like the name suggests love it what do you purchase um this is a sun touch sunshine in a bottle hair lightener i i i like sun bay better i just like sun bay better but this is really good stuff it works and you can get online uh, this is a rare beauty eyeliner i like this but like after a while it frays really bad um and it gets kind of messy too but i love the shape of it the shape of it is so nice but it, again it gets frayed and it's all messy and maybelline eyebrow pencil i think this is a medium brown i will always repurchase this i freaking love this eyebrow pencil y'all i love maybelline it's probably one of my favorite um drugstore brands besides milani really good stuff um it has a spoolie on one end and it has a precise tip and i just don't 
I don't need to be buying like a like overpriced eyebrow pencil. Love this. It lasts a long time. It has a lot of product in it, and you could get this at Walmart. Walmart. Love Walmart. Um, Milani rose water. I like this rose water, but I don't know how I feel about it over my makeup. I don't know if it makes it last longer. I don't know because I don't know because this lasts a long time when it's still in the NARS soft matte foundation. So I don't know. I don't know. I like it. I like the smell of it. It's really good. Last thing, last thing. This is so sad, okay? This is so sad. I prefer a lip liner that's a pencil that you sharpen, but this is the RM, Ariana Grande. I support her. She's a boss. And um, this is the lip liner in the shade EQ, and I really like this. It's like a brown, but it freaking is broken. And it's hard. I can't use it anymore. It's hard and it's broken, and I'm really sad. And I probably will not repurchase it because... This happened and I didn't even have it for long, but it dried out and it's probably my fault. It's not her fault um, because I left it open or something. So I don't know. Okay, so that, do you see this? Do you see this pile? I can now recycle all of this product and, <laughs> okay, I'm done with it. I'm done with this video. Like, thank you for pushing through with me. Um, and I will see you in my next video. And thank you for watching. If you liked the video, go ahead and like. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, everybody.